Hey everybody, in this video I'll be showing you how to stream your webcam and also use a PowerPoint on Facebook Live. For this specific video, I'm going to be showing you how to do it on an iMac, but you can do it with any webcam. It's just easy because the iMac has the webcam already built in. This will work with any kind of PowerPoint. It could be a Google slide, it could be Keynote on Mac, and it could also be PowerPoint. It doesn't really matter. Um, it should work the same on all of them. So I'm recording this on my main computer and then screen capturing on my iMac. So when I'm looking at the iMac, I'll be looking off screen, but just know that I'm looking at the iMac while I'm working. So here we go. So the first thing you want to do is go into Google and search OBS. Uh, click on OBS. So OBS is Open Broadcaster Software. It's just a way to manipulate different uh, feeds from your computer and stream them out. So since we're on iMac, we'll use Mac OS, but um, you could use it on Windows too. It's the same thing. Um, so we'll just put it on the desktop so it's easy to get to. So you click on it. It'll unpack. Now you just drag into your applications folder. Uh, we're gonna, I might already have it. We'll just replace it. It's a new version. Download. Okay. So now we have OBS, so we'll double click on OBS. And in the meantime, you can open up your PowerPoint if you want. Um, you don't have to, but I have it up already. Um, so we'll open it from the internet. Right, so yours will show up with nothing. It'll just say scene. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is at, hit the plus button, hit display capture, hit okay. And then what's important is open system preferences and allow this. So we gotta quit the program, we gotta restart. So we're allowing it to do screen recording. So now we will Open OBS back up. So now that you have OBS open, you're gonna to wanna to hit the plus button. I thought that you might be able to use window capture. It's a little more clean, but for whatever reason, the images um, weren't showing up on the stream actually from Keynote. So we're just gonna to have to do a, a display capture. So we'll go here and we go plus. And it'll probably work on Google Slides actually. So we'll, we'll look at that in a second. But for Keynote and PowerPoint, we're gonna go, um, hit display capture, hit okay. So I only have one display, so it's zero. I would recommend for this setup actually maybe having two displays up so you can have your OBS window on one side and your stream on, on that window and then have your PowerPoint on the other. But if you just have one, you can make it work. It's just not quite as clean. So hit okay. Now we're gonna add a video capture device and hit okay. And we're gonna use our FaceTime camera and we're gonna hit okay. So if you don't see it, make sure that anything, basically make sure it's on top for your webcam and then you can size it here and put it down in the corner. And then we have our PowerPoint here. So if you just have one screen and you wanna check um, if it's working when you go full screen, um, there's a good way to do it. You just hit the rec start recording button, but what you're gonna wanna do first is go to settings and output and make sure that you like the place that the file is going so that's good you hit okay so we're going to start recording and we're going to go here and we're going to hit play so now we'll go through the powerpoint that's great so now we'll hit stop recording just to check and double click recording. the file that comes and up we're going to go here and, and we're going to stop and you see here that we have the powerpoint so up and me in the hit stop. so it's working great so that's good. The next step is to get it on Facebook. So I'm gonna use a page to stream. I think you can use your personal account potentially, but in this video, it's just gonna be about streaming to a page. So let's do that. So now we have Facebook up and we wanna hit, so you go to your page and it says create and you're gonna to wanna to hit live. And it's gonna take a really long time to load. So. With OBS, you can actually stream out um, with a stream key, but that's a little more complicated. Uh, if you want to see a video about that, uh, let me know. But in this video, we're just going to do it as simply as possible. So we're going to use the webcam. So we're going to use a camera. So it's asking me to uh, allow to use my microphone. So just hit allow. It was frozen there for a second because of that. So now we see we only have the FaceTime camera and I am up here and it doesn't go live until you actually hit go live. Um, and you probably have to fill out some of this information here. 
two to actually go live. Um, so now see it'll let me go live, but that's this is actually not what we want. We want it to be OBS. So we'll hit OBS and we'll hit start virtual camera. And it's asking me to put my password in, so I'll do that. Um, and then, so now the virtual camera's on. You're gonna to wanna to click OBS virtual camera from that little drop down menu. I would recommend actually starting virtual camera and then either restarting Chrome or closing Chrome after you've um, downloaded OBS because I was just having an issue where virtual cam wouldn't show up um, until I restarted Chrome. So uh, just make sure if you're having that problem, that's probably the best solution for you. Um, but anyways, so you have OBS virtual cam and then your mic can just be your built-in microphone um, on the computer, which is fine. Uh, internal microphone. And now you can see here that this will be the screen that you're sharing. And this is why it, it's kind of important to have two screens if you can, because then you can move this off to your other screen and monitor, but it's not a huge deal, um, you know, once you know that it's going. But that's, that's what I would recommend. I just don't have that set up right now. I have multiple monitors, but just not set up on this iMac. So that's a good way to look at it. Um, but you see these settings here. You just want to name your live stream, and then all you have to do is hit go live. Um, so once you go live, I would just hop over to PowerPoint and and if you have it on the other monitor, you could open PowerPoint first, but if, if not, um, once you hit go live, just hit play and then now everyone will be seeing uh, you and the PowerPoint on the screen and you just click through the PowerPoint, pretty simple, um, and just talk. And then you could also pull uh, your live stream up on your phone just to make sure it's working. Um, that's, what, that's what I typically do. If you want to use Google Slides, I'll show you how to do it really quick. I don't have PowerPoint installed on my iMac, so I can't show you how to do it, but I can show you how to use Google Slides if you want. So uh, here we go. So you can delete or, well, you'll just be starting from scratch probably, but for me, I'm deleting display capture and then hitting the plus button. And this time I'm gonna hit window capture. I'm gonna hit okay. And then I'm going to hit Chrome with Google Slides, okay. You can size it obviously however you would like and then make sure that your video is on top so you can be seen. Okay, so now let's just record to make sure we're monitoring this correctly and hit present. So now we're presenting. That's slide one. I should probably just put something on it just to be a test. So now we'll hit present. So there's that. And in theory, I should be on the bottom corner. So let me go, uh, go back to OBS, stop recording, and we click on it. So that guy should and be on the bottom. Yep. We see and that in theory, it comes I up should be and on the bottom corner. So, so let me go. Yeah, that's pretty easy in Google Slides. And you can use the window capture because uh, just for whatever reason in Keynote, images aren't coming through on window capture, but they will on display capture. So that's basically how you do that. So you can also resize everything too in OBS uh, just as an option. So you can make this bigger or smaller. You can make the screen, etc., etc. et cetera. Um, you can even do that while you're streaming, but that's where the second monitor might come in handy because uh, it'd be kind of difficult to do if you have your PowerPoint up. Um, and if you have two up, two monitors up, just make sure that you're selecting the correct one here. Um, but yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, let me know. And I hope this was helpful and an enjoyable video for you.